In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the receding veins effect that I did for this music video for James Lee, directed by Brad Wong. It doesn't require any additional plugins, all you need is Adobe After Effects, and then this unsplashed image from Jacob Owens that I'll have linked in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this tutorial is helpful for you, maybe consider subscribing, commenting, liking, because it helps me. And if you want free education and free assets, might want to stick around. So I'm going to link this in my description, but Jacob Owens, the filmmaker, has provided a free texture here um, on Unsplash. You can download it here. I would do the drop down and get the largest size to get the best quality. Go ahead and download that. We're gonna bring that into After Effects. So let's get started and jump into Adobe After Effects. So now we're gonna change this texture into a vein tint. So we're gonna to go to Effects Color Correction. We're going to add Tint. And then we're gonna change the levels. So go to Effects again, go to Color Correction again, and then go to Levels. So in Levels in your Effects, controls, you're going to bring the first little triangle over a bit and then the last triangle over a bit. So it looks a little bit like this, an overexposed texture. Then with that texture selected, we're going to go to effect channel and invert. Um, then we're going to go to effect again. We're going to add some blurs to this. So go to blur and sharpen. We're going to add a fast box blur. And we're also going to add effects, blur and sharpen, CC vector blur. And we're gonna bring that amount under vector blur to about 20. And set your fast box blur, blur radius to five. Then we're gonna right click on that texture, go to blending mode and change that to screen. So now you'll be able to see kind of these white veins over our subject. Um, so then we can take that textured layer and change the scale rotation and size to find a spot where you want your veins to be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make them kind of large. And then let's see, we're gonna do one under his eye. Let's rotate it this way a bit. Then I use the uh, pen tool to cut it out to how I want it to be. And bring it over. So under that textured layer, you're going to go down to the mask and we're going to feather it. So add a bit of feather, much as you want, but I'm going to use like 74 so it blends well with the skin. And then say it starts here. I'm not going to do it over his nose. So you can adjust your mask to how you want your veins to be. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just duplicate that texture twice. And I'm going to turn off the eyeball on that so I can um, preserve those for later when I do them on the rest of the body here. Um, so I'll just make that layer, edit, label, red so i know not to use those for now we're going to be using this one um right here on his cheek so that's kind of what my veins are going to look like so once you have your vein set where you want it to be so this is going to be my right cheek i'm going to right click on the vein itself i'm going to pre-compose it so this will be right cheek pre-comp and then i'm going to move all attributes into the new composition by clicking this Make sure you check open new composition. We're going to bring that into another composition as well. And there it is. So now what we're going to do is go to layer new solid. We're going to make sure it's black and we're going to name this mat one on top of that layer itself. Um, we're going to hide visibility of that mat by hitting the little eyeball. And then we're going to use the pen tool again to just cut around the veins like this, even though you're not going to see a difference because we hit the little eyeball. Save that for later. So in the music video I'm working on, the veins are actually going to be retracting. So I'm going to set a keyframe for the mask at the beginning like this. And then by the end of the mask, then I'm going to click on all those mask points and bring them up like this. 
um, for later on in the timeline. So now it's set a keyframe over here as well. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna retract the veins slowly. All right, so now we're gonna make that mask visible again by hitting the little eyeball and we're gonna add feather. So add maybe like 54%. Let's check out what it looks like. And that's now showing the the veins slowly. I'm actually gonna flip those keyframes because I wanna reverse it for this music video specifically. You don't need to do that if unless you want to. Um, so now I'm gonna grab these. I'm actually gonna go the other way so it recedes this way. So they kind of retract upwards, if that makes sense, like up the guy's face, retract slowly. And if you want to zoom in, you can kind of see the feathering of what it's doing. Sweet. With that matte one solid selected, we're going to go to effects and presets and type in turbulent displacement. Drag and drop that on top. And with that, we can make some changes um, to the amount. I'm going to go 99, 57 for the size, 2 for complexity. Um, it adds for a little bit displacement in the feathering of the veins, kind of giving them a more natural receding look. So now we're back on the main comp that we were using to put the veins down. Uh, we're going to right click the composition with the veins and hit blending mode, screen. There, so you can kind of see it now receding. While following this Infected Veins After Effects tutorial by Film Riot, it seems like everybody's running into the same issue here. I don't think we're going to be able to use Mocha Pro unless there is a fix for this. So what we are going to do is we're going to use just regular Mocha that comes with Adobe After Effects. So type in Mocha. We're going to just use Mocha AE, which is the standard tracking software that comes with Adobe. We're going to drag and drop that onto our footage layer and we're going to go into Mocha and we're going to track it this way. Um, so now we're going to just use Mocha to do this. So I'm going to click on my X here, X mine, and I'm going to track this area. Um, it would be good to keep maybe like a freckle of some kind so that the tracker knows where things are. So this is where my vein is going to be right there. And then I'm going to hit right click on the mouse get out of there and that is going to be the new um, right cheek layer so I'm going to rename that to right cheek mocha okay and then we're going to go ahead and track that with the T not bad at all so if I if I scroll back you can see the track stays so that's going to be our right cheek mocha, and then we're going to do one for the forehead too. So I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to track his forehead a bit. Um, try to keep some facial features in there so mocha doesn't have as much trouble tracking. So I'm going to use his eye brows as a good way to track this. Uh, and then I'm going to right click to get out of there, and then we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to hit the T to start tracking. And since I only tracked this area of blue, see wherever the green triangle is, I've only tracked that. So I'm going to have to track back too. So I'm going to hit the T under track reversed. So this T going backwards. Not bad. Um, that looks good. So I'm going to rename that to forehead mocha. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna do one more. Technically, you can do as many as you want for your video, but I have one more to do. I'm doing veins on this side, so. Okay, and once that's tracked, we're gonna rename that to left cheek. The only reason I'm doing these three different tracks is because I'm gonna put veins on his forehead and on both cheeks. Um, so now, once that tracking data has been created, we're gonna just exit out of Mocha and hit save. So now Mocha lives here. 
And as you can see, the only things that matter right now are the vein layer I created and then what I just tracked on the main footage. Don't worry about these other effects right now that don't have the eyeball checked. These are from an old attempt at this. So if I click on the main footage layer, we're gonna go to this Mocha tracking data. We're gonna hit create track data. And we're doing right cheek for me here. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna change the corner pin to transform layer two. We're gonna set this layer to right cheek comp that's the vein layer we made and let's apply export and for some reason it lifted the vein above his eye so what i can do is go to effects and presets go to transform drag and drop transform onto the vein layer then we're going to just change the position on that vein layer to where we want it to be here just like this all right, and that looks pretty good. So it's tracked on there, but maybe I want my veins to be a different color. So I can go to my vein layer, right click it, hit blending mode, and then go to difference. For our case, or my case at least, it turned purple. So what we can do is when you drag and drop Lumetri color onto here, um, you can play around with different settings here to match a color that you want. I want it to be blackish blue. So if I change the temperature to the left you can see it gets more vibrant purple but if i go to the right it starts to get more blackish blue and now we have some blackish blue veins um, feel free to adjust the other things like exposure you can bring it down to darken it a little bit there um, you can bring down your highlights your contrast different things yeah if you bring down the exposure it kind of blends with the skin tone a bit more um, i'm gonna go negative nine um, there we go. And when I play that back, I got receding veins. It's pretty sweet. Nice. So now I want to do that again on his forehead and his other cheek. Um, if you remember earlier, I made two duplicates of the vein itself, um, here and here. You didn't have to do this. Um, this is just so I didn't have to redo this all again on another part of his body. What I'm going to do is uncheck that and then I'm gonna pick a different area of veins let's say I want to use this area so I'm gonna bring this I want veins to kind of come off of his head here onto his forehead um, so I'll have veins over here and veins over here um, let's label this to forehead so rename forehead um, I still don't really like this mask too much let's find something better so now what I'm gonna do is do the same thing with the receding but I'm gonna right click it hit pre-compose I'm gonna write forehead pre-comp make sure you move all attributes to new composition you have your open new composition selected to hit that pretty nice um, and then I'm gonna go back into my other one and this is in the right cheek pre-comp that I made I'm just gonna take the mat I created so copy that and I'm going to paste it into there and instead of the path being right I'm just going to choose a different area for the path so this one will start to recede over here let's make it a little bit larger and at the end it should be all the way across the whole thing there we go so it should recede like this up there and I might want this to start a little bit later so I'll have it start receding after the other one begins to I'm gonna go back to a pre-comp there it is looks great I'm gonna right click it hit blending mode screen Boom, there you have it. We have that there. And then I'm gonna go back to my original VFX raw string out, which is my footage layer. I'm gonna create new tracking data for, or of the forehead this time, hit okay. Make sure transform is selected under export option and then layer export two. We want that to be the forehead pre-comp and then hit apply export. Oh, it's way up there. Uh, 
Sometimes it moves it around, so it's way over here. So that's why when we go to the effects and presets and type in transform, drag and drop that onto that forehead pre-comp that I made. I'm gonna move the positioning of it to go back onto the forehead where I want it to be. The reason I'm using transform to move it is because since we've tracked it, it's already made positioning like keyframes under transform. If you see, these all have keyframes, every single frame. But if I use transform, it ignores those and I can move it to where I want it to begin. Um, so now if I play that back, this one should start receding first, then that one starts going second. Again, if you're seeing it white, then you're gonna right click it, go to blending mode and then hit difference again and it should change to black. Don't forget to save, control S. You don't wanna lose this work that you created because that'll be a nightmare. Amazing, look at that. We got two veins receding. Thanks for watching my video, everybody. Hope that was helpful. If you like what you saw, please comment, like, subscribe. I'm excited to see what types of creative things you can do with this vein effect. If you do use it, feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can see your work. Take care. Oh, that's weird. I'm not going to salute it. Thanks for stopping by.